Back now, with Run DMC here on GMA. Well, Run DMC founding member Daryl DMC McDaniels, he has now written a new book. Daryl's dream about finding courage, facing bullies, and celebrating individuality. Everybody, let's please welcome the man, the myth, the legend, the icon, the pioneer, the DMC, and run DMC. There he is, Daryl McDaniels. Man, it's good to see you. Happy New Year. How are you? Happy New Year's. Thank you, TJ. I'm doing, doing really, really, really good. Looking forward to an awesome year. That's what we need uh, here on this first Monday of 2022. Yes. I'm holding a book here. It's a kid. It's a picture book here. Who, who is the kid on that cover? Is that supposed to be you? That is a young DMC <laughs> in the place to be. <laughs> now, so much about the book. How much of this really is following your story as a young kid? It has a message in there for kids now, but how much of this is your story about being bullied or rejected or talked about for being different? Well, back in the day, 30s, 40s, 50s, way back in the Stone Age, <laughs> all young people go through the same thing. So when I was a little kid, TJ, I got teased, bullied, and picked on because I was a straight-A student, always on time. I listened to my teachers, obeyed my parents. I wore glasses. They used to call me four eyes. It was like, hey, binoculars, or my <laughs> red comic books. I was this geeky, nerdy kid. But all of those things that I thought wasn't good about me were some of the most powerful things of my character that allowed me to become the mighty king of rock. So I want to encourage all kids, they are perfect just the way they are and who they are. They have everything necessary for them to be whatever and whoever they want to be. That's the message of the book. I am no different from any kid on the face of this earth or in the universe. Now, how do you, now, how did you get through it? I have the book here, and you're trying to help kids make it through, but how, how, how was it for you making it through that and embracing uh, who you really were? Education, mm -hmm. imagination, and creativity. When I was a little kid, I realized everything, every bit of information, everything that was creative, everything that was fun would allow me to make it through this world. You know what I'm saying? Drawing, reading and writing and arithmetic. Um, you know, nowadays you got the internet and you got computers, but I had the encyclopedia. <laughs> so education and information was a world, a whole universe of empowering um, thoughts and emotions and characteristics. We all grew up going through the same thing. So it was the arts and creativity combined with education. Albert Einstein, the smartest man in the history of the world, TJ said, imagination is more important than education. He didn't say education wasn't necessary, but if you put imagination with the education, so when I was in school, the things that the bullies teased me about became my power. Oh, you corny and you like to draw. But then the very next week, that bully was asking me, yo, DM Daryl, could you please do the cover for my project? Wow. So everything that little kids think is wrong with them is actually the thing that is their talent, their gift, and their ability to make them succeed. I'm DMC in the place to be. I wear my glasses so I can see. I'm no different from Love any it. other kid. You're oh, no DMC. different from me. <laughs> DMC quoting to Albert Einstein on the first Monday of 2022. That's what we needed. Daryl's Dream comes out tomorrow, everybody. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.